Long eyelashes and lash extensions are taking over the beauty scene these days, but it's not the industry that's really strictly regulated. Yeah, and the question is, should it be? KITV4's Jill Kuramoto takes a closer look at the fashion fad in part two of our series on eyelash extensions. It seems as if the fad has exploded in a blink of an eye. Eyelash extensions are becoming as routine as getting a manicure. I'm an addict, full-on addict, eyelash addict. <laughs> <laughs> lashes are made to look thicker and longer by adhering synthetic lashes to a natural one, one by one. The type of service you'll find varies along with the price. A set of lashes from lash stylist Kristen Wood can cost you about $300 and up. Suki Yi of Suki's lashes start at $30. But currently, the quality of the work done in Hawaii is not strictly regulated. Those who do the procedure need only a cosmetology license and ask around and you'll find the horror stories. Glues all chunked together, you know, like 10 natural lashes stuck on the bulk of the glue. And then they, they say, you know, I just had it done, but it hurt so much, I want removal. Synthetic lashes actually attach to the person's lid. We checked with the Better Business Bureau of Hawaii and the State Department of Commerce and Community Affairs, and we found that there's been no complaints filed against any licensed salon in Hawaii. The DCCA says that it only sends inspectors out to a site when a complaint is reported. But with this exploding trend, there's mounting advocacy to require specific licensing for those who do lash extensions. Wood earned her certification on the mainland and has been doing lash extensions for four years. We would all like to see that there's a positive influence as far as certification and things like that because it holds people to a higher standard and then it makes you feel good about what you do as a professional. Yi agrees more could be done to regulate the industry. Just doing the one bad job can ruin your lashes pretty much permanently. So we, as much as possible, we want to avoid it. Meanwhile, the advice from women is to do your homework. Really do your due diligence to make sure that you do a lot of research. Go to somebody who's certified. I guess it's one of those things you get what you pay for. You know, be really careful because you don't want to damage your actual lash. Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News. Well, some advice uh, before you get the procedure done. Personally inspect the salon, make sure the equipment is properly cleaned, and ask your esthetician how they do their work, asking thorough questions about the entire process.